Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing something that a lot of people have been kind of requesting but also kind of not. Here we have a 3x3 circle stargate door with a layout that I've already made. As you maybe can tell from the title, people they probably have not requested this door, but a thing they might have been requesting is a instant 3x3. A layout for that door would look like this. This right here. One of, uh, of course, the many layouts that could be potentially used for a door like this. The thing is, I've already built a good number of these doors. So basically, I would just be copying one of my previous builds, and I don't think that's very good for a video. It's hard to learn from someone just copying down things. So instead, I will be taking concepts from this door, like chaining ABBAs together, and apply it over here. You might not know what a Stargate is. I definitely didn't before looking for ideas for this video. A stargate door will look like this when it's open. It will have a layer of glass and then another layer of solid blocks around it. The closed state will look like this, where that layer of glass has been replaced by solid blocks and then the middle block will be glass. It doesn't matter what these blocks out here are going to be. Most of the time they're going to be the glass blocks that were right here because you won't be able to see them. The sequence for this layout is like this. The three modules that just replace these blocks with solid blocks all function like this. Pull this block, pull that block, and then push that block in. All of this can happen instantly. So for this, we will just be using ABBA modules for each one. So that's how you get all of these right here. Same on this side, just changed a little bit. And then of course, same on this side as well. But then as you can see for this side, we have a slightly different layout. This one has a little fold here because we actually have to push this block in, not pull it out. So we pull back that, push it in, and then there. So this will just be an ABBA with an extra pulse because for opening you will be able to have this and that fire and then three game takes later this and that now i'm going to get started wiring up some potential inputs getting a bit complicated and then actually is that everything done it is how nice now as i showed in my last video i'm going to make a quick capture and playback just to see how the door will look <laughs> wonderful now if i freeze the game start the playback we should see it all work I'm debating whether or not that is the coolest animation for the open. Let me slow it down a little bit. Actually, that's technically just the seamless bit, so all of these can be moved up. I'm actually going to do that. So now we should actually have the finished capture and playback. Now to get started on the actual door. I think I'll start with this bottom one right here. Oh, and I actually forgot the last input. For this first one, I think we're going to start with a normal... Uh, no, I'll try and do an Alugia Abba. Amazing. Do we have the first ABBA done? We will see. We do. And then we can fire it from the other side and it should go back. Amazing. So this is the first one. Now, if I was smart, which I never said I am, 
Uh, we would reuse some of these pulses for other ones. I'm trying to think. Could we potentially, if we move this one up a little bit, get the top one too? I want to see. Okay. So now I have to use my brain, which is quite hard most of the time. Okay, the first one should be wired up. We'll see if moving it changed anything. Oh, it does not. Amazing. That was easier than I thought it'd be. <laughs> we'll see if it works though. It does seem to work. Amazing. So that is one side done. Could we maybe shave a layer by pushing it that way one more? Oh, now we have this side. Which, wait, could I move this over here? Yes, and then change that to there. Oh, I'm going to try and keep it four wide. We'll see if that pans out. Also, we can shave that bottom layer right there. Could we potentially not use the top layer? And just use something like that? Oh, but that's the problem with this one. Uh, can be mitigated. Something like that. Then we have a direct input into here. This might have to be two different ABBA circuits. Now, I still have the same problem that I did before. Where I don't know what I'm doing. But that's okay. We basically all have to start somewhere. I think that is one of the biggest things with zero tick projects, especially slightly larger ones like this. You have to start somewhere. Even if it's starting with the input, starting with the first piston, or starting with the first ABBA like I did. You have to start somewhere, right? And so somewhere is where I will start here. But I guess don't worry about the top until I have to. I love that strategy. Have to start with our A pulse, then A, B, A, B, C, D. Okay, then we have A, yes, mucho good. All right, that didn't work because... It is because I'm majorly capping. Oh my god. Don't. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, can you see? I'm not the best zero tick redstoner. Okay, so now it works, right? Yeah, well, at least that part does. Yes. Do we have room for boat? We do. Oh, no, we don't. Crap. Oh, yeah, we do. It's fine. It's okay. So now we need another ABBA. That leaves us with very little space. Oh no, because I have to somehow get the signal from right over here, right from the B input, to fire the next ABBA. Is there a possibility? There is. It is, as the French say, mucho cringe, but it will work. <laughs> And then we get the close. And then pulls it up. And then we get the open. And then this. And then pushes it back down. Now it's input time, which I have an interesting idea for. Right here, I have a horizontal zero tick dual edge. which I think I will use. So 
So in theory, when I click this, this side will work. Amazing. So this works. Now the real question is how are we going to get it up and over to here? And I think the answer is something I don't really want to do. Because it means I have to make it extra more more big and I, I don't want it to make it more big technically you don't even need that glass block there all righty now in theory this should work right everything is set up to work yes okay oh my gosh that is the first time the door has closed that's crazy and how am i powering this over here <laughs> oh my gosh oh but i've added already so many layers and look at this empty space hmm i mean i can do this right And then, you know, off of that. In theory, it should work. That'll work. That should work. Oh, this was in the wrong place. So now everything should work. I've said that about a hundred times already, but in theory, everything should work now. And it does. Oh my God. Oh my. Okay. Everything works. Now. That's down. That's up. That's up. And that over there is down. So now this should do the first move. Yes. Now I just need to program the second move, which is just that. I feel like the easy option is this. That's gonna get zero ticked when we're here. Which is not a good thing. Wait, but actually we can make it all the way down here. Maybe. Not that. And then in theory, this will work. Is everything reset and good? Yes. 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 Is the door done? Am I done? Am I out? Am I out of the madness? That's silly. It's not zero point. It's zero point three close. Just in general. Whatever. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. Should I add boat? I'm going to add boat real quick and then I'll be right back. In theory, all the boat should be done, but it might also break. That's down, that's down, that's down. Sick. Amazing, so the door is actually done. Look at that. The final volume of this door comes out to be a whopping 1,331 blocks. Oh my gosh. Do I care all that much? Not really. I think it was a good 
example of how builds sometimes go. I originally thought it was going to be four wide and it ended up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide. I added three more layers. It's crazy. And in fact, you don't really need this boat for it to be clockable because these right here, that's four game ticks and then that to push down and back up. The reset time is still pretty crazy. One thing I am pretty annoyed about is this sound right here. Um, trying to think how I could do that differently. Need an instant update that's movable and doesn't make noise. You know what's good about this new version? We have this thing called the... No. What is it called? Copper. The bulb. The waxed copper bulb and it doesn't make sound and it's an instant update so that is one way to make this door not have any sound unless it does but i guess we'll see oh yeah that actually has the longest reset i do believe And then will that still work? Yes, it does. Okay. Here are some slow-mo shots of the door. And here's the door in real time. Quite a cool little door. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any suggestions for videos or potential doors to make, leave them in the comments. Also, let me know if you like this new style of more complex doors that challenge me and challenge my video editing skills to cut it down into a memorable length that is not three hours long over three weeks. That's about all. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.